In this video I'll show you not only how to install the whole Bacula system, but also how to make it work, so we'll be able to run our first backup job successfully. Because of this I will also show you errors that you might have while configuring your backup system, but what's more important, how to solve them. So let's start. There are computers with very important data, and you need to make backups of it regularly. On these computers you install a file daemon. This program grabs all needed files and sends them to storage daemon. I think it's clear what this one does. It accepts the files and stores your backups. An important note here is, use a separate computer, or maybe a cluster of computers for this. I hope you see that there is no point in saving your backups on the same computer as your actual data. Finally, we have a Bacula director that controls everything and can connect to every computer that is present in your backup system. There is also a catalog, which is a database. It saves information about your backups and helps you to work with them easily when you need it. Generally speaking, all the parts of Bacula system can be installed on the same computer, but even in this video we will use different machines for file daemon and storage daemon. First of all, we install a Bacula director. It can work with several SQL databases. But I'll leave it for you to decide which one. Personally, I use Postgres. That's why I add PGSQL here. Bacula wants to send emails to you on occasion. So that's about your mail server. You can choose no configuration. It doesn't matter now. You always can set up your mail server later. Now configuring a database. Press yes here. This is a Bacula password for a database. You can leave it blank to generate automatically. So we have installed a director. You can control it with service, Bacula director and a command. Let's see status. Director is running. The port used by the director is 9101. If for some reason you do not have a database created, there are scripts for this task in user share Bacula director. Maybe different directory for you. But let's check our database. Enter a Postgres shell, type L command. Here is our new Bacula database. See if it is filled with tables with D command. It is fine. But if you need to recreate it, run the script you need as a Bacula user. This error is caused by not providing a database name. The correct command looks like this. All the errors now tell only that you have all tables created. Just in case, you may reconfigure your Bacula package, typing this reconfigure command. You will be asked a few questions to finish. This one is only just in case. The configuration file of Bacula director is in etc. Bacula director.conf. This is a main file. Almost all settings are here. Backup jobs, time when to run them, a list of clients to backup, storages and other settings. By default, Bacula's working address is localhost. You can change it, or if you want several addresses to listen on, then command port and address parameters, and write another one, director addresses. There you can list your IP addresses this way. Then restart Bacula. Now let's install a storage daemon. It will be on the same machine as the director. Choosing Postgres version. You can use the same commands to control it. Configuration is in Bacula SD conf. Here you also have a port and an address. In the same way you can set several IP addresses to listen on. And finally install a file daemon on the computers to backup. Same way to control. Similar configuration file, fdconf. You may want it to listen on all possible IP addresses on the computer. 
To make it, just comment a line with an address. That's it. Restart the file daemon and see that it is now listening on all addresses. So, we have installed Bacula on Ubuntu. But all programs are on the same computer. There is no point in it. To make some kind of a real world example, we will use a different machine to backup. And to make it really hard, this will be a Windows machine. To download a file daemon for Windows, go to this page. Sourceforge, Projects, Bacula, Files. Then to Windows folder, choose the latest and download a version you need, 32 or 64 bits. I take 32 bit and this will be an epic fail on 64 bit operating system, but I'll show you an error appearing because of this mismatch. Now let's install it. Here you write the name of your director. Take it from your director's configuration. Write its IP address or a domain name. A password here is to connect to the director. You should copy and paste it from the director's configuration file. It will be written in bconsole configuration. bconsole is a program to connect to the director and do some cool stuff there. You can see in this file a ready example of what to add in Bacula Director's configuration. All file daemons are clients for the director. So this part goes to director's conf. The only thing you might want to change is an address. And restart the director. Let's test the connections now. We will use bconsole, a program you can use to administer Bacula. Install it. Run. I was able to enter because I ran bconsole on the same computer as the director, so no need to configure anything. For example, use show clients command. Bacula prints all known file daemons. But it doesn't mean the connection with them is established. It only means you have written them in a conf file. Now let's check the connection with status command. Select client number 3. Our file daemon on Windows is second one. And hit enter. If you are very very lucky, then you see this output. But usually you are stuck here. And the first reason for that is Windows firewall. So just disable it. You may disable it for private networks. Of course you can add a single program and allow it to work, but this firewall will just annoy you. Anyway, it will not save you from Windows itself. After that, check status of the client again and hopefully you will see this. But still, you cannot have a break. I suggest you to check a file daemon on Windows at least 3-5 times in a row. And check that Bacula process still exists because it may crash. Why? Because of Windows. Bacula can just crash for absolutely no reason. Updating Windows can help in this situation. I mean installing updates, not another version of Windows. But if you work with people who use correct versions of Windows, updating may completely crash your system. Just know this. And I mean crash, not just warn you about something. So if you have such crashing problem, it's not about Bacula, I tried different versions of file daemon by the way, it's Windows. So disable firewall and update Windows. Now I hope you can connect to the file daemon. Before we run our first job and to prevent these errors, let's edit pools for our backups in the director's configuration. We put a label parameter for all pools. Now I use a pool name and a pattern for current date. This label will be a file name for our backups, right similar for all pools. And make sure your path for backups exists. Check it in storage configuration, sdconf. Write an existing path here, or if not, then create it.
I also want to set a client to backup by default to the file daemon on a Windows machine. This setting is in the director's config file, job dev section. Here I change a client to user PC FD, that's the one on Windows, and restart the director. Now we are ready to run a job. Enter B console and type run, select the job, one, and run it with yes. To see what's going on, you need status command. So enter this. And here you can see another possible problem. Waiting for client to connect to storage. This happens often, but it's easy to fix. Open the directory configuration and look at storage section. You see here a line, do not use localhost, and you must not. Why this all happens? Becula starts a job. It tells file daemon. Give all your files to the storage, and gives an address of this storage. If an address is localhost, file daemon just can't connect to storage, because it is not on localhost for file daemon. So in the configuration you need to have an address that file daemon can use, not only the director. Now run the job again, check status, and it's running. But we are not finished. Check status again. The job was finished with an error, so double check what you do. By the way, to only list jobs, use exactly this command, list jobs. To see what just happened, you can use a command messages. Scroll a bit, and here you can see this strange error. Well, probably you will not, because this error is caused by the file daemon version mismatch. I mean 32-bit or 64-bit platforms. Just reinstall the correct version of the file daemon. Now repeat your actions, run a job, it is running, and now, what, error again? Ok, that's the last one. See messages. This no drive letters is easy to fix. Edit the director's configuration, in a file set section use Windows directories. That's it, just not use Unix-like directories on Windows machines. Restart the director, run the job again. It is in progress for a couple of minutes. And yes, we did it. Let's see the file of the backup. Here it is. Now you really know how to install Bacula.